Yeah, it's going to be another really, really hot day here in the Duke City. Not reaching 100 degrees, though, so right side? <laughs> Pretty close, though. Pretty, Pretty close. close. <laughs> not much of a difference from the 100 we hit yesterday, but uh, hey, ever so slightly cooler. Not quite as hot today. Isolated storms possible today with gusty winds. We're really talking about the northern high terrain. It's not out of the question we get a stray in the metro, but our storm chances for Albuquerque a little lower than what we had the past couple of days where we had at least gusty winds uh, late day and a few sprinkles for a select few backyards. Uh, temperatures, while they come down a little today, they're going to go right back up on Sunday. So uh, if you're tired of the heat, I apologize on behalf of the weather because it is just going to keep on going. We only see three triple digits on this map today, which is a big step for us this week. Socorro at 101, Tucumcari at 100, and Farmington at 102, but just about everyone else in the 90s. Rudoso checking in at 86 this afternoon. Now you see just a couple of little specks of green here on future track. Those should strengthen a little bit as we get you into the evening along the Colorado state line and maybe a stray near the Continental Divide. That's about it as far as rain is concerned for this evening. Tomorrow morning, 50s and 60s for most of the state and then into the afternoon, a little bit of good news in the form of a little more moisture at north, central and west. So while we're not going to see a lot of thunderstorms, we should see more tomorrow than what we see today. But down to the south and southeast, those temperatures start to go up a little while the rest of us cool off ever so slightly. There's that slight cool down over the next several days in Albuquerque and there's that rebound to 100 degrees on Sunday making Father's Day an impact day for heat.